Kathleen Client is brand new and have started their open beta for 1.21.4. So to get it, you can head over to their official website, uh, Kathleen.fun. It's going to be linked down in the description below as well, actually. Together with my Discord server, you can actually find many more clients just like this one, so I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, here on their website, you can visit their documentation or simply click on this button, which will bring you through this ad focus page where you'll have to wait for around five or actually it's 10 seconds. Don't click on anything here. Then click on this skip button at the top over there and the download will automatically start. Now, this actually also requires the fabric language Kotlin, um, which is available on Modrinth. I will link this page down in the description below as well. You just want to download whichever one supports, well, the version of Minecraft you're downloading it for. Now, what Kathleen also requires is the Fabric API. Um, I will link this down in the description below as well. Now, as you might have been able to guess by the fact that you need the Fabric API, you do actually also need the Fabric Loader installed for 1.21.4. If you don't have that yet or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link that down in the description below as well. Oh, wow, going to be a lot of links down there, right? Uh, anyways, now as you can see in my downloads, I have the Fabric API twice for some reason, all right? Um, I've got the Fabric API, the Fabric uh, Language Kotlin, as well as Kathleen. Once you have all three of these, you can press on the Windows and R key at the same time on your... Uh, computer and then in the box that pops up type in app data just like so then hit enter or click on ok you'll be brought to this location then go into the folder called roaming.minecraft then into the um the mods folder it's right over there as you can see and we simply want to drag in all three of these very important once you've done that we can close up both of these folders open up the minecraft launcher and launch fabric for 1.21.4 now, the first time you open it up, it might take a little longer than usual to load, but that's fine. Um, brace yourself, by the way. So, here we are. Um, so, bec because I've already used it before, it's, it's not going to give me the option to select if I want to enable Discord RPC or not. It might do that for you. Basically, Discord RPC is Discord rich presence, which basically allows people to see that you are using Kathleen Client if you're also online in Discord. You can choose to enable that or to not enable it. Anyways, for right now, we'll just uh, head into a single player world, I guess, real quick, and I'll um, show you what this client is all about. So spawning in inside of Minecraft, uh, you can simply press on the P button on your keyboard, and that is oh, going to open up this area, which is also known as the Click GUI. This contains everything, although before I get into all of this client's utilities, uh, I'll quickly explain a little more about the client. So as I think I already said, it isn't an open beta right now, which means that the versions that we're going to be using are not a full release yet and so maybe bugs or limited features maybe a little bit of crashing are to be expected although I have actually played quite a bit with this client already myself um, and really I haven't noticed any of that M myself I know there have been some bugs I also have seen them um, uh, f for the rest why am I so excited about this client well this is a continuation of uh, Thunderhack Recode, which is a continuation of Thunderhack Plus, and basically Thunderhack Recode for 1.21.0, that client was so amazing, and uh, the original developer discontinued that client to start developing this one, and so I've been very excited for this to finally come out, of course. Uh, anyways, basically, for the rest, you can just expect this client to be incredibly well made, uh, I, as I said, I've played with it a, a little already. This is fantastic. Anyways, here we have um, all of the utilities that this client has to offer. We can click on these to turn them on and click on them once again to turn them off, just like that. Uh, there's a description over here as well. Um, uh, well, all the key binds and buttons you can press. Uh, for the rest, we can right click on these utilities and that's going to open up a customization menu. And some of these customization menus also contain more collapsible features, which you can also right click on. So a whole bunch of customization. And then you can click on this top bit over here and that's going to just bring you back to this area. Now, although it might not look like a lot of utilities like this, it actually is. And that's because under PvP, these are just the attack utilities. There's legit utilities over here and protect utilities here. So as you can see, this client has so much to offer. It is literally insane. 
there we go set it today real quick anyways uh <laughs> so this client has so much to offer for the rest um apart from the customization menus you can also of course set key binds for these utilities so say i want to set a key bind for the nuker right over here i can use my middle mouse button and press on that that's going to open up that menu and i can press on maybe uh g and now the key G is going to be set as a keybind for that. To view your keybinds, you can press on the Alt key on your keyboard. And as you can see, I have one other keybind set right over there. And so that's just going to show off your keybinds, which is pretty neat. Of course, we can go into that menu again if you want to change it or reset it to um, its default or just remove it entirely. For the rest, that's basically that for the general UI area. It should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, although you don't get descriptions when hovering over these things, um, so that's too bad. But for the rest, of course, incredibly good. Um, moving over to this Windows area over here, there is really just an array of different windows that you can use. There's a configurations panel over here. This allows you to create, manage um, your configurations. What configurations do is save stuff. Um, like, for example, it would save the keybinds I have set now. But not only that, also the customizations you have applied to all these utilities. And then you can load and save um, configurations for different situations. You can also share them with people online. Uh, there's a waypoint panel over here as well where you can create stuff like waypoints, uh, a little similar to something called baritone if you know what that is. There's a proxy panel over here, uh, a homies panel, basically just an internal friends menu, and then a macro panel over here where you can create and manage macros. For all of these, you can click on this plus button over there, enter a name, choose the variable or variables, and then um, you'll be able to create and manage that. Although I'm not going to go too in depth into all of that this video. For the rest, there is also an HUD menu, which is basically the exact same as one of these things, but just in a different location. Um, as you can see, I already have the FPS widget enabled, which is going to be right up there. And basically that displays my uh, frames per second, but we can turn on another one. Maybe we want to um, view my ping, which I'm in a single player world, so it's not going to be much right now. Uh, so I can turn that on and then I can move this to wherever I want on the screen. Maybe I want this to be here. Maybe I want it to be there. Uh, as you can see, there are no general snapping lines, but it will um, snap to other um, to other HUD elements. So that's basically that. For the rest, there isn't a whole bunch of customization of how these look just yet. It might still be added later. Uh, then we can just go back to here and clicking on this theme bit is going to open up the theme editor. Uh, you can enter a name, click on the plus, and then that's going to create a new theme. The default one is going to be enabled for everyone right now, and it's just called Kathleen. Um, similarly to the configs, you can actually uh, share themes with other people and stuff and have multiple here. Turn them on for different situations. And um, finally, there's also a search bar right up over here. It's a pretty in-depth one more it contains a lot more than you might think so if you're looking for something specific then you can just type that in and then it's going to give you the utilities but also customizations with utilities that have something like that as you can see it's pretty cool and uh the ui for this search panel is at least in my opinion incredibly clean i like it a lot uh for the rest this client doesn't have any uh what'd you call it any, any commands just yet uh, I think they might be still adding those later, but either way, that's, of course, not the biggest uh, the biggest thing you're missing out on. For the rest, man, this client is just, uh, is just fantastic. I like it a lot. I highly recommend it to all of you. As I said, I've uh, used it a lot myself so far, and uh, I've really been enjoying using this client. I love the UI. I love all that stuff. Very, fan very amazing. And, of course, the client goes a lot deeper than what I just showed in this video with... Um, especially with this Windows panel over here. I definitely recommend you guys check all this out. It's uh, incredibly cool. For the rest, yeah, that was uh, basically that for right now. Um, I did have a texture pack enabled for this video. I don't know if you guys want it. Um, I will link it down in the description below. Um, it wasn't entirely intentional, but oh well. Uh, for the rest, uh, yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.